Как? Помощи Божьей, дорогой, мы за вас молимся. Как, как, вы, как вы результат сегодня? Как вы результат сегодня? Результат сегодня. Результат нормально. Всех бодрили. Seems the people are happy that, the, that Wagner came here or happy they're leaving. It's a little hard to say. Обстановка. Класс. Обстановка. Класс. Нету проблем с собой? Ага. Как? Как обстановка? Да? Да? Что будешь сделать сейчас? Stop it. Uh, what happened here today? Well, today was some kind of attempt of an intervention, but uh, thankfully they managed to find a solution almost without victims. So we see that people support Wagner and that they managed yeah, to find something in common with their both. Uh -huh. And we hope they will make it to the victory. Prigozhin is now at the Green City Hotel in Minsk, the capital of Belarus, and he has issued an 11-minute audio tape where he gives more details on his so-called March for Justice, and he says some important things about the origin and the true motives. Now, Putin gave a nationally televised statement Monday evening. The Russian media built it up as something that was going to be very earth-shattering, and then it was just a short little statement that barely told us anything. So Putin's statement really fell flat, didn't tell us anything. Uh, Lukashenko, the president of Belarus, is supposed to give a nationally televised statement uh, Tuesday evening. Maybe that'll tell us some new details. The Russian defense minister, uh, Sergei Shagu, a lot of people thought he would be resigning by now. Uh, instead, he allegedly met with Russian commanders near the front lines in the war zone. So I've talked about this in the past in the community section of this YouTube channel. On July 1st, Wagner PMC was set to be integrated with the Russian Ministry of Defense and it was going to lose a lot of its autonomy. The Chechen National Guard, the uh, Ahmed Kadyrov, is also being um, integrated with the Ministry of Defense, although they already agreed to this and signed all the paperwork and seemed cool with it. Whereas uh, Prigozhin and the commanders of Wagner were opposed. And a lot of his rants about Defense Minister Sergei uh, Shaigu, well, some of his criticism is, is probably valid. He's probably less than fully competent, but also part of it is because he didn't want Wagner to lose its autonomy. So in his 11-minute statement, he talks about how this would have neutralized Wagner as the great fighting force that it is, and the troops would no longer be used to their maximum potential, and the, the incompetence and bureaucracy of the Ministry of Defense would, would infect everything and just ruin uh, what Wagner was. So he says this never started out as this march on Moscow. Uh, he says originally the Council of Commanders got together and they decided that on June 30th, instead of signing the paperwork and becoming part of the Ministry of Defense, they were just going to leave and they were going to parade through Rostov on Don and return all of the heavy equipment um, to the Southern Military Headquarters and just pile up you know, tanks and anti aircraft batteries and armored vehicles up and down the street in front of the military headquarters. And this was supposed to, sh to show the Russian people that Wagner uh, was 
ending is, is they knew it. And they felt that there'd be like a lot of anger and maybe the Ministry of Defense would back down and let them maintain their, their identity and their autonomy. Well, then Prigozhin says that on uh, Friday morning, all of a sudden, the Ministry of Defense launched an unprovoked attack on a Wagner camp and killed 30 members of Wagner. Now, I'm highly skeptical that this ever occurred. What, what happened, uh, we may never know. People are going to be debating this for years, how much of this was, was real and how much was theater. Well, the, the protest uh, march through Rostov on Don then became a march for justice on Moscow. And so they were going to go to Moscow and save Russia by removing the incompetent defense minister and the incompetent um, uh, chief of staff, I think he is, from power. And that was going to reform the Ministry of Defense. So at this point, Prigozhin is sitting at the Southern Military Headquarters with the Russian Deputy Minister of Defense. And he maybe has a few hundred Wagner fighters with him and thousands of members of Ahmed Kadyrov, the Chechen National Guard, are lining up in giant columns outside of the city. And he has maybe a few thousand personnel along the highway headed towards Moscow. Keep in mind that most members of Wagner were not part of this. It, it's only a, a small chunk of Wagner that was even involved in this. Well, they're being attacked. Uh, people start getting killed and they're looking ahead and the Russian military is setting up artillery and has tens of thousands of troops mobilizing and creating a, a perimeter outside of, of Moscow. And if they try to go into Moscow, they're just going to get annihilated. Everyone's going to be killed. And Prigozhin sees this. He realizes that it's about to become a mass horrific casualty event. And he calls it all off. And he agrees to go into exile in Belarus. Now, here's where it gets a little bit complicated. As of right now, it looks like Wagner PMC will continue to exist as a private military company, but in Belarus instead of Russia. And so right now, I guess uh, Green City Hotel is their new headquarters. Uh, some people on social media have been saying that they've tried to book rooms online and it just tells them that currently they're not taking any reservations and it's, it's, full of Wagner personnel, I assume. Uh, so Putin gives his statement and he basically says uh, most of Wagner are great guys and they, they're not going to be prosecuted and they can do one of three things. They can go to Belarus, they can sign a contract with the uh, Ministry of Defense and become a regular Russian soldier, or they can retire from active duty and go home to their families. That's the three options. So he makes it sound like Wagner PMC will continue as uh, an independent autonomous ent entity inside of Belarus now. Uh, Putin also says that he's going to hold people accountable. He's going to hold the perpetrators accountable. But then he also says that no one in Wagner, they're all free to go, that they're not going to be prosecuted. So that, who are these people that are going to be held accountable? That's a mystery. Like I said, people are going to be debating this for years. The British tabloid media is already saying that this was just a, a, a bunch of theater for Wagner to move in mass into Belarus, where they will now invade Ukraine across the northern Ukrainian border. Who knows? All right. Thanks for watching this video. Click the like button. Post a comment below. Tell me what you think about all this. And please subscribe to my backup channels on Rumble, BitChute, Odyssey, and Twitter. And click the subscribe button. New video.
every few days.